Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's May 1st, 2014. I'm Logan Burgess. To my right here is Brock Shimano to help break down a very negative day in Chicago for the grains. Jumping into the quotes here, you can see corn was down 12 cents. July soybeans down 51 and three quarters. Last trade there at 1461. Chicago wheat selling off as well. Uh, last trade 707 and a quarter down 14 on the trade day. Brock, fundamentally, we did have a relatively weak export sales report out this morning. Is that kind of what got selling in the bean market started? Uh, you know, I think that's definitely what got the beans uh, market excited and selling to the downside. Um, what we saw was net cancellations about 16,000 metric tons on the old crop. We've been kind of anticipating this for the last few weeks, but we yeah. finally got confirmation of it here today. Uh, as far as corn is concerned, we beat expectations there, and wheat came in above expect or right within analyst expectations there. So not big stories for wheat and corn, uh, but beans was really the highlight here. And if we take a look at where we have been uh, trading or where we have been throughout this marketing year, you can see um, the red line is what we need to see to meet. Uh, the seasonal pace set forth by the USDA. Uh, the blue bars are what we're actually seeing for export sales. And you can see over the last five or six weeks, we've basically gone down to a trickle, actually ending up negative here this week. But I want to pay attention to that green line. The green line is how far ahead or behind the pace to meet the current USDA projections are. And you can see over the last, uh, the middle part of this marketing year, really, we've been falling off substantially on the pace that we are yep. ahead. Currently, we're sitting at 135 million bushels ahead of pace, uh, down another 10 million bushels on that pace this week. So substantial loss for soybeans in the export market. I really think that's what got the market selling uh, rather sharply and they're really going in today's session. Yeah, you know, if we look at kind of the, the action in today, uh, in today's trade, we saw a lot of fun selling as well, and we also had some important technical areas that were broke for this July contract in particular. Take a look here at this chart. This is a daily chart of that July soybean contract. It's a candlestick chart, so each candle that you see on this chart represents one day worth of trade action. As you can see here, today's move captured well, very negative, and the important part to note here on this chart is the trend line that we have drawn across the bottom here. This market has really been riding this uh, trend line higher uh, since early February and today's close was the first time we had a strong close with good volume below this trend line. So from a technical standpoint, a lot of people are going to be looking at this as an area that could signal a top in the soybean market. Wouldn't be surprising if we saw a little bit of follow through uh, here as a result. The thing to keep in mind is that stocks are exceptionally tight, but as we know, very high soybean prices have started to eat away uh, at crush numbers. And today's technical uh, indication as well, I think, will be looked at closely. As I said, wouldn't be surprised for a little bit of fall through. You know, like, like what you were saying, there was a lot of fun selling in the market today. We saw funds be net sellers of about 12,000 contracts. So yeah. help, I think that helped push the market a little bit lower. Something else that could have been helping the market was some bull spread on winding, selling the, the def, uh, nearby months, buying the deferred. Yeah. We only saw the new crop contract down about 21 and a half cents today. So not as bad as losses, what we saw in the, uh, the nearby months. So that was something that could have been pushed the markets but then there's also some rumors out there that more South American cargos that were headed to China are now yep. being de deferred back to the United States so uh, this was an issue that we talked about probably about a week week and a half ago yeah uh, we're seeing this starting to pop up a little bit again we're gonna have to wait for confirmation on that but that was definitely affecting the market here today yeah keep an eye on that soybean contract here as we enter the overnight session another contract to be watching as we go into the overnight uh, is the wheat market here after the bell we did have uh, the projections from the 2014 Kansas wheat tour, and as you can see here in this slide, uh, fairly low projections. As we know, it's, it's not a big surprise that this crop is in bad shape, but I think that the uh, yield number and the production number here are going to catch some people by surprise. As you can see, 33.2 bushels per acre projected for the 2014 crop, roughly 5 bushels per acre lower than even the very poor 2013 crop. Production as a result here quite a bit lower roughly 50 million bushels expected lower in terms of uh, Kansas wheat production uh, And as I said, I think that a lot of these numbers are already baked into uh, current prices in the wheat market But I do think some people are going to be surprised by these We could see the wheat market move a little bit higher in the overnight as a result Especially on a day where we close down, uh, you know 10 or 15 cents you know, we are we were off sharply today and I think that, you know, some of the people that were getting short today are gonna to take some profits and given like these these numbers that we had come out later today. Um, you know, something else that's been driving the market is, is really been the weather. Um, you know, particularly in the corn market. Uh, we see a little bit warmer, drier weather for the next about five days or so across the Midwest. So I think the planters are gonna get out in yeah. full force and be able to plant this crop rather quickly as far as corn is concerned. So we can see that pressure the market just a little bit more uh, as we head into early next week. That's right. If you're gearing up for planting right now, 
or have already gotten started and you want to get live quotes from Chicago in the cab of the planner, visit us over at grainhedge.com. You can take a great uh, uh, demo of the mobile trading platform we have available. It's ready to go right now on the iPhone, iPad, Android, or tablet. If you have questions about that, give us a call here at the office, 877-472-4607. Thanks a lot for joining us here on Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow. Wrap up the week.